If you're a roofing company and you're looking to build your brand and grow that revenue, this is the video for you. What's up guys? If you're a roofing company looking to attract and get more clients, more roofs on top of houses, and to build that revenue, build that brand in your area, this is the right video for you. So let's dive right in. I'm John Vigaro. I'm the CEO and founder of Adapting Social. We are a global agency that has helped roofers in over five countries around the world scale, build their brand, build their revenue. My goal in this video today is to talk about how you, some quick tips on how you can start to really build that brand, get more customers, and ultimately make sure you're building that momentum, right? We all know how important momentum is. One thing I, wanted, I do wanna mention is obviously Adapting Social is here to help in any way. If in the event that you can't do these things I'm giving you as, a, as advice or tips, we got your back. So again, we've been doing it for 15 years, we have deep experience, we're here for you. But to dive right in, the first thing is first, right? We know all the major home advisor Angie's list. If you're watching this, you're probably already on it. If you're not, again, you know, typically we'll see people get 50%, let's call it, get 100 leads, 50% of them are shit, and in most cases, if you're good at what you do, you can close 30% of them. So having that said, you know, that's one component, right? But most people know that already. So, but from a alternate perspective, if you're like, oh, I hate their fees, I hate how you're, they're whoring leads out left and right. What we're here to do today is to talk about, you know, these other alternatives. So, one, advertising on Google, becoming a Google certified contractor. The biggest thing that we're seeing right now is that Google is rewarding and giving more to these contractors who have the ability to be Google certified. Now you have to have all your team members get background checks and obviously be approved through everything, but Google is pushing and it's making you look way better. When you see that verification that you're Google certified, that's freaking huge. People want to see that, right? So ultimately the biggest thing is number one, let's get you Google certified so that again, you have that check mark of validation. It makes people feel better. It makes the consumer feel like Google trusts you. That's important. Secondly, is search engine optimization. You need to make sure in every single zip code and county that you wanna be dominating, that you have really focused and great content around. So if you're, I'll give you an example, okay? If you are from New Jersey and you say, hey, I wanna make sure in Point Pleasant, I wanna make sure in, you know, uh, Brick, you know, Tom's River, just to give three examples. So I'm gonna make video content like this and I'm gonna create blogs similar to this and metadata around Tom's River roofing experts. Another one, Tom's River, the best roofers in Tom's River, the most affordable roofers in Tom's River, the fastest responding roofers in Tom's River, the best roofs in Tom's River. Point Pleasant, same thing duplicated across. That is gonna give you the ability to have Google say, wow, okay, this is really a resource when it comes to roofs in Tom's River, right? And Google is very localized now. So creating content around that, so again, making videos about it, talking about it like this, as well as creating and building that content around those things are gonna be extremely, extremely helpful to you. Having that said, you know, that's component number two. Number three is going to be making sure that you are becoming the local expert and building influence in your areas. So video content is gonna be how we're gonna do this or imagery, but what you wanna do on social media is whoever the top influencers are in your market, you need to be there getting content with them, right? So like if there's the best restaurant in town, and you're there with the owner of that restaurant, you know, and you're talking about, you know, hey, this is this person and you're featuring them on your social, right? So you're calling them or you're, you're DMing them, whatever, and you're saying, hey, I wanna feature your business and your story on my social channel, right? So you're making like a spotlight in your social content. So you get that person, you know, best the restaurant owner. If you like the mayor in your town, a lot of people, you know, politics, but the mayor in the town, talk about, hey, you know, what are the great things about this town? get them featured on there. Cause when they, when they get that content and they post it, cause you shared their, you featured them in your content. Now they're going to share it. So everybody who knows that business owner, everybody knows that mayor, everybody knows this, this person, that person is giving them the ability, get it out there in front of their audiences and showing you two together, which creates warm leads. The next thing I want to talk about is creating what I like to call brand gladiators. What the freak is a brand gladiator, right? So, but brand gladiators is where you are going to go and you're going to ask minimum five friends, five business colleagues, five family members, and then just five people that you know, you know, or you know, you're not too familiar with, but just like people that you know, right? Acquaintances. So right there, you got 20 people that you have on that roster. You're gonna reach out to them, you're gonna ask them, hey, turn on post notifications for me on Instagram, Facebook, as a minimum, right? And you're gonna say, Anytime I post, can you comment, like, and if you're feeling ambitious and crazy, also share it. And if they go ahead and do that, it's now gonna get you in explore pages and again, open that door for warm 
leads. So it's going to create the ability for their friends and their colleagues and all their people on their social channels to see you, your business, your roofing business, and give you the ability to start ranking when it comes to, you know, again, organically in these search engines, when it comes to that topic, right? And then again, it creates that warm lead. Cause if, again, if I'm, let's just say, you know, one of my friends reshared your, your piece of content, right? And it was a great video of you, you know, talking about roofing and completing a job. And I saw it and my friend shared it. And I'm like, damn, you know, my roof really does need to get done. But if Joe reshared this guy's content, this guy's gotta be legit. So it makes that warm lead and the warm connection. So ultimately these are a few little tips. There's much more that we do. Obviously there's much more that we know. So if you need any assistance, any help adapting socials here, we got your back with deep experience for the past 15 years with the roofers in over five countries, helping them scale their businesses, you know, their brand and their revenue. So we got your back. We're here for you. And I hope these tips you can apply and put right into play to help you build that business. But if you need us adapting social.com, create a great day. Thank you.